And hello, everybody. Welcome to tonight's episode of Oh, just like Harry just made the noise of the Velociraptor. All right. <laughs> That's what happened when she just wake up. <laughs> so, episode 21. I titled it The Bread is Burnt, Mate, because <laughs> there was a fucked up. tiny weeny little bit of fire <laughs> last game. <laughs> But everything was under control in the end. Yeah. I, I blame Squish Quash. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think he's used to it now, Squish. <laughs> True. <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, what happened last session was that our bunch of chaotic freaks tried to. Do a heist of a place. <laughs> it was successful until there was a specific moment for a chess. <laughs> <laughs> and a cat that attacked. And the cat being morphed back into a half orc after being kicked by the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Things went to shit because the guy called the guards, even if he's the outlaw there. <laughs> because Squish had proof. But the thing is that the chest was heavily loaded. And Mother Bowen, with anxiety panic, was trying to run away <laughs> with it. <laughs> but sadly didn't happen. Uh, Squash was knocked unconscious because he attacked the guards. <laughs> and uh, one thing's left, though. There's a small window of opportunity. Because, strange as it might sound, Bricks was actually one of the chill guys and all that. <laughs> it's a great plan. Bricks was the unproblem, <laughs> unproblem, a hey, fucking shit. I can't speak. Tonight. Unproblematic, Unproblematic child. Yes, <laughs> that. And um, there's a small open window where they see that the guards have left the vicinity, and some other like a really short minute for them try to catch back that freaking moment to grab that magic items that he want to try to sell or might be dangerous goods. So, let's launch this minute without further ado. Thanks for the recap, Harry. I hope you enjoy this D4 Fred's about to give you. <laughs> it's true that I kept the D4s uh, for oh, okay. Bricks, Mother Bowen, and Timber. <laughs> I'll set up for that then. Don't mind me. Mother Bowen's actually not unconscious, but uh, not there for that scene. So we will be starting initiative here. With a new combat encounter. Ha ha! Okay. Where's my character sheet? There it is. Dang it, my initiative sucks. But not as much as Andy's. Ha ha! Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. He can, you know, take the first action to go do something else. To do actually do yeah. nothing. <laughs> Exactly, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. He bursts out and attacks. So with the first six seconds of that round. With your passive perception, Timber. You hear something. Because the door is... All the doors are closed now. But mostly cracked. And you hear a... So, 
Are you gonna take this or not? And you hear an answer back from it. Nah. I want to see the goods first. You already cut fire. Not sure if it's the right thing. And we will follow up with Timber! Oh, the door is holding, structurally speaking. Structurally speaking, this seems to be more fra the fragile, but you cannot go through it. Okay. I will... Like, did their, their voice sound like far away, muffled? Uh, it seems from this room. Okay. Good, because this is where I was going. I won't go there then. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll just try, if it's not locked, to open the door. Uh, this one has been locked. But like I said, it they are in a fragile state. It's just that they are still holding. So you, if you want to attempt a strength check to just poof, bust it open, might be possible. But then I'm standing at the front of the door like an idiot. Uh, I, I'll take a chance. Yeah, I'll just I'll just look at the others and point to the other door and elbow the door. That's a strength check. Strength it is. See all my strength. Uh, you can do athletic. Do you have athletic? That will be a seven then. Okay. It's okay. It was a five. <laughs> so you... <laughs> and it would technically be part of your movement. So if you want to dash in, you would be able to do so. That was pretty loud, right? Actually, I'm going to try something silly. I'm going to... So the porch below me is is rock, right? Yep. As if I were to lay down, is it wide enough for me to, like, it takes the whole square? So I guess it's. If oh, you want. Okay, no, actually, sorry, I zoomed. I zoomed in. It's just a small, tiny porch. Yeah. So I so I wouldn't fit in. Okay. Well, in that case, I will dash out of the way here, just in case they rush to the door. That will okay. be my turn. All right. So we'll go now with Bricks the Magnificent. Okay, I'm trying to remember the location of things as of last game. Okay. Uh, he pointed at this door. The instruction's unclear. Pondering blowing it up anyways. Uh, but definitely... Gonna move through Andy. Two, three, four, six, seven. You could try to blast it open too. <laughs> yeah, but no. Nah, I'm actually hoping they go check the this door. I thought that's my my going plan. Okay. Uh, so, you know what? Uh, I have an action I can hold until my next turn. Uh, I'm a hold action. If someone pops out here, uh, I'm a, I'll just blast them. All right. So, uh, let's go for Handy. Himbo. Uh, um... A himbo. A himbo. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so we were hearing voices coming from here, right? Yes. Okay. And Timber went around. I can, like, half see him. Hmm. Hmm. Right there's Andy goes. Okay, do I want to go the stealthy way or just barge in? 
Are you asking us? <laughs> or just yourself out loud? <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> Barging in is fun. Mm. Yeah, I'll just like exchange a look with uh, <laughs> bricks and timber and I'll like point to the door and I'll go like, hmm? Hmm? And I'll try and, yeah. Fuck it, we're limited on time, so. You're dashing in? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and just as you move close to the door, you hear Timber say, Word. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Just, just when I? it's too late. Oh. <laughs> just as you're going through the door. Just as I'm going through the door. All right. So should I make uh, some kind of attack roll, strength check? Uh, no, because they already busted open, so you can actually oh. go in. Yeah, okay. Well, wait, could I move that far? Hang on. Yeah, you were here, I think. Yep. I was like here. So you, this is your 30 feet. So yes, you can do a dash and do another 30 feet in. That's true. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? I have no idea where this chest is, but you know, YOLO. Uh, I'll wait here. You wait there. Yeah, and Action if search dash again. <laughs> uh, and I'll um. Hmm, I can't hold an action since I dashed. Yep. So I will action surge and hold an action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I can, uh, if anyone comes in, I'll try and like knock them unconscious, like non lethally or something. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just bonk. Cool. Goodbye, action surge. <laughs> when in doubt, bonk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when, in the, when in doubt, bonk. So you hear a... Uh, top of the round. Uh, stay here. I heard something. And you just hear a... Flings! Of scimitars and daggers coming out. Uh, here. So, he comes in here, so he is in your vicinity, so you can bonk him if you bonk. want. Bonk. I am bonking. <laughs> Roll Straight for the mole. Jail. Bonk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. Aries curse following her from the oddities yeah, to here. Yeah. <laughs> so, at 10, you see that he's... You, you were like... Uh, you were not hidden. <laughs> uh, well, I actually, he didn't, he didn't know you would be waiting there. Give, roll me with advantage. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll allow so. <laughs> I mean, it's better. It's, it's better, better, but still not enough. You yeah. sort of like, you were dun, 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 waiting for smacking him, and he just like, and he just take his dagger and uh, both his weapons, clinks, like, Almost. That was almost. I, I can't give a rim ID for right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So it will change his uh, momentum and he will go for Ari and for Hembo and try to attack him three times. So first strike with Scimitar. Wait, Natural wait, one. Wouldn't, wouldn't my held action technically include an extra attack or. Uh, in the home rule, uh, in the home rule, we said at the first, it's only one attack okay. when you're reading this action. Anyway, he miss. <laughs> he miss, and a second attack. Ooh, this one. Oh, he hit. Yeah, that <laughs> hits. That hits. Yeah. Yep. So seven slash. Oh, I have. Oh, 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 come back, come back here. Good, 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 good. So seven slashing, and then he goes with. <laughs> And he tried to just plant his dagger straight to your neck. That's rude. And it, it works. That also so hits, yeah. But you still have the thickness of your armor. It's just... It's still take the hit, but blood comes out. And uh, that will be a turn. It's like, what are you doing here? Oh, hey. Uh, don't mind me. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're following up with Timber. I hear fighting. 
<laughs> yes, you hear <laughs> fighting. <laughs> Twenty twenty-five. Just as Andy says, go to sleep, and I go, yes, sleep, sleep time, and I hit him with a staff of the other. <gasps> you use your bonus to, uh, uh yes, true, it's bonus to activate first, so bonus to wake up the serpents. Oh gosh, uh, and then that, hit. that hits, and let me do the Constitution save. Oh, he succeeds. So, no poison or half? Uh, no poison. No poison? Alright, so seven piercing is like, What the hell's happening? Huh. Hey, it's the cat! <laughs> oh, I'm... I'm a fairy, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my turn. Girl, and same. <laughs> So, one enemy revealed itself in the initiative. Let me just, uh, uh, where is that biatch? I need the hands out, please. Here. You see this little halfling? Halfling or gnome? I yeah, will have to check it out after. You see this lovely lady coming out with the same crimson bolt you've seen from the hand of Aloysia. One, two, three. And she sees Andy. And like, oh, hey. do I have a discount if I help you, Crook? Sure, sure! <laughs> Fine. No, I thought she was going to ask for a discount on sleep. I would have given oh, it gosh. to her. <laughs> so, she will be throwing through Crimson Bolt to, well, no, one to Handy and one to Timber. But Timber will have half cover because Crux is in the way. So, first to Handy. 13 doesn't hit, right? Mm -mm. Nope. And then a second attack on Timber. With That's a, a hit. 15. With a plus two? Yep. To your AC? Oh, shit. Yep. Well, damn. Or so, 18 <laughs> psychic damage coming up your way. So the scrimson bolt just strike to your chest and go straight to your brain. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you for the D4, Dark Knight. <gasps> TM. It's rude. <laughs> so, uh, that would be her turn. And, uh, but you see that she actually have the chess on a tensor floating disc floating next to her. And we'll now follow up with the Rex the Magnificent. Okay, in that case, I'm going to take another one, two, uh, and try this door. Is it locked? I'm going to guess probably yes. Yes, it is. But like I said, uh, easily blasted. Well, what do you think I'm going to do? I might as well just blast the door. <laughs> <laughs> do you go back one step to <laughs> because you would attack the door with disadvantage? <laughs> yeah, fine. No, it's okay, you, it's okay, it's, okay, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it two seconds, I'm like, eh, whatever. You're point blinking it. <laughs> you it's just okay. have to do it's enough damage. Enough. Mostly. So you burst the door down. <laughs> that door was not I ready. Second, I don't think I need a second beam. Okay. <laughs> Um, so that was one, two, three. Um, cool. I'm going to take a step inside. So that's my fourth step. Now, the, the, this disc you mentioned, so she's here. Is right here. Is right there, is it? Okie dokie. Uh, hmm. This is an interesting predicament. Uh, one, two, three. 
I could easily take a four. Five. Oh, I was not expecting it to be like straight on like that. Um, <laughs> but I did use my Ultra Splash, so for now I can go. You have your second ray. Does it say that you can, you have to launch it when it's, it happens? That's a good question. Uh, uh, make a set, you can direct the beams at the same target or different ones. No, it does not uh, specify. It's just a separate attack roll. I will let you hold on like you would be holding your book and like I, holding the crackling energy to it like ah, ah, and you want to detonate it. You can do it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that makes that kind of works like a, a multi-attack kind of option. So, yeah, no, that makes sense. I like that. All right. Well, in that case, I mean, like, oh, fuck. And yes, fire my blast at her. Not as good. Nope, and Helaman sadly doesn't hit this lovely lady. She caught me by surprise. That's my that's my argument. I'm sticking to it. Seven, two, three, four, five, six. I can at least move here within the swinging range of that floating disc, and that'll be that. All right. So, Andy, back to you. I'm like, ma'am, this doesn't regard you. Uh, just. The, please stay out of it, and I'll manifest an echo in this space over here as a bonus <gasps> item. No! <laughs> My evil plan! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andy's going to take an attack and go to sleep. Dude, please. With them all. Oh, and shit. 25. Yes, 25. surely. <laughs> that hits, huh? Uh, that's, and as he does so, the <laughs> Echo's also going to take an attack at the halfling yeah, slash gnome. We don't yeah. know yet. Yeah, yeah, I'm tracking uh, it. Using Unleash Incarnation. All right. And also I get an extra attack on this guy. So on the dude, we're going to go with a 24 to hit. So another 10. Shit. You're wrecking him. Poor it, guy. It. It's and about damn time. The echo. Wait a minute, let me know. Yeah, it's a bad damn. Ah, the echo <laughs> fucks up though. <laughs> yeah, the, the echo. Curse went to the echo. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, cool. I'm not used to smaller targets. Sorry. <laughs> um, it, she's a gnome. She's a gnome. All right. So uh, well, that was my that that's my turn. I won't um be moving. All right, stay there. Yeah. So it's back to him and he will try to move up. It's weird because he doesn't move out of your yeah. threatening range. <laughs> because well, so but, do I get a reaction on that? Uh, th that's, I will yeah, say yes, like... because you have to go through the door. But technically, like still next to you. But there's a wall, yeah. so I will grant him. Uh, I will grant him half cover. But you have what? the attack opportunity. I have okay. it too, right? Yeah. Timber yes, you have it also. too. Timber definitely has it too. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> do I roll? I forget how cover works every fucking time. But what it's only me that's uh, having yeah. AC. Cool. Twenty-one. Okay. I will use it my reaction to you see that he's using parry. Oh. <laughs> so he's using his reaction and he, at the last moment you see the mole going straight to his face and he just sleeks ping back. You, you were not expecting that from that huh. half hork that seems to be a bit hold and he just <laughs> bend over and walk your mole into the wall. And dodge <laughs> really closely the snakes. All right, battle master. And uh, he will strike at the echo. All right. Does it 15 hits? Nope. Nope. We'll try to strike it again. Again, no. And go with the dagger. Ah, uh, that matches. 
I believe, because so, Ryoko has one less point of AC than I do. Yeah, so we <laughs> fade out, and you will use, you will move through her square and move behind her, like, give me some cover, <sighs> and I'll be taking care of those after. And you see that he's taking out a potion. And we'll follow up with Timber. Hold person on both of them. Okay. Fine. <laughs> oh, well. Both of them are... <laughs> oh, I can go up. Oh, uh, yeah, there's oh, a wall. I did. Yep. I did it. I did it. Uh, and I'll stay here. Uh, bonus action... You know what? Bonus action, I'll go behind him with uh, Misty Step. Uh, no, I can't because I did a spell. Sorry, sorry, yep. sorry. It's my turn. Alright! So, let's go. And uh, it's going to be her turn. And she can use her... Um... Hmm. Isn't she paralyzed? True. I'm checking she what I can do. At the end of the turn. There's I no think... jewel this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nope, there's no jewel this time. Uh, paralyzed. Da, 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 so she can do shit except doing her. Except ending her. Yeah. She can That's do her wisdom saving throw. And I fell. Need, need some whole person. Sheesh. <laughs> Let me just see. I have my screen over here. <laughs> just look at the fucking screen, Fred. Paralyzed. Incapacitated. Okay, so I have to see. Doing amazing, sweaty. Can take actions and reactions. Good. So she just make her roll at the end of her turn. <sighs> so wisdom save. No, no, only one, only one. She's not making it. Perfect. So we're going to bricks. I mean, at this point, um, uh, I, you can I attack can with advantage. Yes, but I can also reach the box, right? Uh, the chest that is heavy, yes, you can technically take it. Oh, right, but it is heavy. That's and why I it's on the tensor with... floating disc. <laughs> it, look, I'm not used to being that strong. I just remember, like, huh. In many cases, I could have done something. You're not barbarian in this game. <laughs> a man can dream. It makes a lot of things simple. Uh, <laughs> but you're right, I can't attack with an advantage. Um... Oh god, let's not do anything too crazy. Uh... Nah, I'll just blast. Okay. So, first ray. With advantage. Yeah, with advantage. Uh, much better. Much better. It hits for <laughs> minimum damage, but still is a little four. Little four. Let's go. Uh, and then second ray. And with advantage? And no, no, it's going to be the 15. <laughs> 15 just hits. Ah, well, that's another six. I cannot take reaction. Fuck. <laughs> yes, which is good. Because, oh man, the reactions could be bad. Yes, indeed. Is that your turn, Bricks? Um, that is my turn, yes. All right. Let's follow up with Andy. Hello. Um, I'm going to move as well. Oh, hang on. Do I have to? What's going on? Why can't I move there? Oh, it's because there's a wall. Yep. Thank you move over here and <laughs> I'm going to bonk the gnome lady 
the bonks. Well, actually, 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 before I do that, I am going to manifest my echo once more as bonus action. <laughs> uh, on let me on the other side of the right guy. Right over here, yeah. Because uh, technically I could still see there. Yes, you could. Okay. When you were Wait. moving, you could be, you could have done it. Okay. Yeah, after moving, so. Yep. Okay, so I, Andy is going to take... Uh, an attack at the gnome. What bonks? Bonk. Share yeah, with advantage. Oh. <laughs> and it's an automatic crit because she's paralyzed. Yep. There should be a plus next to your damage, maybe. Yes. Uh, yeah. Click to. I find it damage. Weird that. <gasps> when oh, you're... two sixes. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just bonk. gonna bunk her. Bunk. <laughs> 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 okay uh and then well that's one attack i'm going to use i'm going uh uh okay i'm gonna I, i'm gonna attack again okay fuck it with <laughs> okay let's see if i can oh no, it's already a crit it's already it's... a crit yeah you yeah, know yeah what? it's already a crit I'm just gonna okay never mind uh, another crit Okay, so she takes an extra 19 bludgeoning damage. I'm gonna use my um, crusher feet. Can I push her back into this guy? Uh, like... Yes. And they would actually be both prone. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> so you... And both of them are prone. Okay, and then as they fall... Unleash Incarnation, my Echo is going to bunk the <laughs> Baker. Okay. Do you do you go for uh, Death Strike or... <laughs> you don't need a crit. It's already a crit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Were you going for a Death Strike or you were saving him? I'm not, I'm not going to kill him for now, but I mean... I don't think he's alive after that. Holy fuck. Andy single-handedly doing the whole thing. Well, no, the old person is doing the hell, so the whole thing, but... Mm, that helped a lot. <laughs> the guy is now unconscious. Well, we, we, had, we had, you know, a time limit on this thing. I'm just being efficient. All good. Uh, so that was my turn. <laughs> so that was your turn. So it's the bandit captain's turn. And you know what? I only have to do my wisdom saving throw because I can't do shit. <laughs> Isn't he dead? No, it's true. I have a death saving throw. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> there's no. So Timber, no wisdom save. I will bunk the lady. You bunk? Do you kill her? With no, 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 Nito, no, Nito. That's why I've been immediately you, attacking this. Even time. so, you you on purpose don't do the poison. Poison makes you fall asleep. <laughs> well then a bonus action disable the sneaks. How much do we hate these crimson people? Anyway. I am pro life. Uh I'll use crit on just the four. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. Why is there I think there's one too many D6? Uh, no, you're a half orc. When you crit, you had an extra dice, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> primal yes. savagery. No, Let's not primal go. savagery. It's, uh, yeah, Savage half orcs attacks. are deadly. Savage, Savage attacks. attacks. Okay, well, uh, she's near death, and it's her turn, and I have to do my wisdom saving throw. Because <laughs> it can't do shit. I was like, oh, I'm gonna had that like the customer was supposed to be there for challenge. Nah. <laughs> oh, at the end of her turn, boom, <laughs> she's not paralyzed anymore because it's at the end of the turn, right? Yeah, she's still. Oh, going to... I mean, yeah, you are still rolling with advantage because yeah, I remembered my crusher feet has like a thing with crits as well, but oh. 
for saving throws? No, I give no, advantage. No, um, yeah, attack, attack rolls against the creatures oh. I crit against have advantage until the start of my next turn. Cool. But, so, uh, it's her turn? Oh, uh, well, that was her turn, so it's now Brix's. Uh, do I want to murder her? I kind of do. I kind of don't care. I kind of will. Eldritch Blast. Uh, she's prone, so you would attack with disadvantage, and she would be actually having three card to cover right now because of the door. You would have to walk through. No, Bert. Do not fireball in the room, Bert. That, that's a solution, but not a good solution. <laughs> it's you know, it again. it's pretty easy to light it up. Uh, look, the, I have so many options that are very dangerous to everyone except me, and that includes my entire party. Um, I am uh, yeah. moving the door frame as in here onto the floating disc. All right. If it, all right, well, at least now I, she still has like probably three quarter cover, but at least try. Mm. Eldridge players. And like I said, she's prone, oh. so she's at disadvantage. Yeah, you, you have disadvantage on that target. But Eldridge 17 player. hits. For 10. Uh, to which, because I'm an asshole, I'm going to go Fury of the Small for an extra three damage. All right. You little fucker. Wait, she's a, For that, she's a gnome. You One see second, that she's a gnome. Is she actually bigger than me? Or, yeah, you no. see her crackling energy bolts coming and you just <laughs> unleash in your direction. Because now that I have my reaction back, I can do reflect agony. So give me a wisdom saving throw. Aww. <laughs> sucky damage. Well, I take seven. So you take seven instead of the 3d10 that I'm supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> That's why and Inflict Wounds sucks and is good as a spell. <laughs> <laughs> but you still have your second Eldritch Blast to throw out. With disadvantage? It hits with a 12. Oh, no, no. no. Nope. 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 This time she's rolling a bit on the side and like, and it just takes, you're trying to follow her, but then the wall just <laughs> blocked the, the blast. Nah, so, that's, that would be for an ability check. It doesn't count. All right. Yep, that's it. All right. So, we will uh, go with Andy. Uh, what's it going to take for her to go to sleep? And my echo is going to bonk. That bonks. And that twenty six bunks are out. There you go. So you're onto the chest, bricks. Yes, that's on a disc that I'm assuming disappears now. Yes, because oh, he's now unconscious. <laughs> Punks. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Dang it! You need help, Get bricks. Get. I'm gonna look at the chest and go like, "Of course I need help. Have you seen this thing?" <laughs> So, uh -huh, it is kind of like as big as you are. That's funny. And me and with my the come over and help him out. Perfect. One thing that when there's there was the <laughs> at the front door, and then the fighting sounds coming back, you know that you still have a short amount of time before guards arrives. Yeah, we're, we're like three turns in. We gotta fucking get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna grab the chest and fucking run. All right, so your turn right now is just to grab the chest and flee? Do we want... Because we had the chest, but there was talk of a disc. The disc is the out disc now because it was the concentration okay, of the okay. lovely lady. Got it. So yeah, just grab yeah. the chest and fucking bolt. All right. Yep. So the guards <laughs> swoops in. After when you are already in a far distance. <laughs> Run uh, out. I, uh, I don't know. Give me give me the chest quickly. I wanna try something. Okay okay. I wanna try it. It. I wanna try in wild shape while holding the chest. <laughs> and hopefully purge with it. Since you're carrying it, I don't know. 
Because recall. you carrying something and having something on you, I don't know if it's... I think it says worn, but it's still pretty big, so your call. If not, it's just funny. Um, give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Like an awkward... Like... <laughs> and you're trying to into... morph in what? A cat again, because stress. So, so you're a cat the size of a chest. No. <laughs> <laughs> a cat with a chest in its body. <laughs> your car field. <laughs> but yes, no. <laughs> Let me it's just... version of that bus. Totoro. <laughs> so we are... I'm going to just uh, go in another... I will just ask you for a group stealth check, please. <laughs> As in we're all doing stealth checks? Oh, I had yes. a disadvantage on those. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a stealthy bitch. Wait, why is it not rolling? Uh, you rolled an 11. Cat, cat, cat. Post why did it not roll with disadvantage? Then we click. Yeah, hang on. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Timber. 17. Both of you succeeded. And one <laughs> failed. It's okay. It was a majority. So everything's fine. Okay. So we're, we're <laughs> I was like, it averages <laughs> out. It's fine. <laughs> At some point, you just like, you have the cat leading the way. Just, you're like, clonk, 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 clonk. <laughs> But the cat seems to be leading the way. And just, there, there's bricks holding one of the pad of the, you have a splint mail now, right? Yes, I do have to play. <laughs> There's just bricks like grabbing the butt of Andy and just pushing the plate so he doesn't make sound. <laughs> come on, come on, faster! <laughs> and then uh, you turn a corner and you are in a zone where you could be more smooth and out of the curious eyes. <gasps> Walk inconspicuously as if this definitely belongs to us. <laughs> well, there's no chest. It's in the cat. <laughs> right. So, walking conspicuously with our contained cat. into. We're the still cat. fleeing a crime scene. Uh... Yes, but now we're far, so now we can start acting like we're not fleeing a crime scene. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Whew. This is hell. Oh, that kinda. was fun. <sighs> okay, we got the chest. What now? Well, I think we were gonna go back and see uh, Owo and uh, try and get him to get uh, Squish Squash and Mother Bowen out of jail since we brought back proof of, you know, the criminal activity going on there. I mean, it is a pretty decent plan, all. You know, it's easier than carrying this around for the rest of the day. That too. <laughs> <laughs> not that you're a problem to carry around there, Timber, but eventually, it's gonna have to not be a cat. How does that work? I don't know, some druidic weirdness. Like, I try did, not you to eat, did you eat the chest? Do cats eat chests? No, they don't. Huh. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I guess. I guess we should head back to the Cobalt Soul. All right. All right. Let's go. Oh no, we're there. There's a quick scare. Timber is like. Ah, ah. <laughs> 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 it's just a hairball. It's just a hairball. <laughs> the chest pops up. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. During this time, we have two amazing person in jail. It's the hard knock life. For I don't know what you mean. <laughs> uh, you mean vacations? <laughs> 
there is uh, the hand of Horde is the one who's taking care of uh, whatever's happening. And at first, soldier didn't recognize you. But then one of the officer. You recognize the officer who actually helped you when you arrested the first guy. <laughs> yeah. Squish is unconscious next to you, so do you, you want to heal him or something, or you want to <laughs> keep him quiet? <laughs> He's going to wake up by himself eventually, right? After an hour, yes. Okay, we'll... we'll... We'll take that hour. <laughs> I only have an extremely high charisma, but you know. <laughs> and also, good... and the one who told him that I was part of the Cobalt Soul and that he believed me, and that's why we still got that staff. Because <laughs> I'm the good guy in his mind. Yeah, but you're still a bit chaotic to handle, so I'm never sure what's going to happen with you. <laughs> So Squish is uh, uh, probably like, <laughs> you know, being like a dog, like scratching his head with his foot, just like having a dream. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it, bury that. <laughs> is he drunk or barely alive? <laughs> barely alive. What's the difference, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, do you mind telling me? What bring you to crime right after you help solve one? Was it just kind of a parlor trick? Oh, uh, I don't do parlor. It's just a very complicated situation, to be honest. Like he's on the other side of the bar of the jail that you're in. Care to explain? Even if it's complicated. Hmm. Well, you remember that group we talked to you about? You will need to be more precise. Well, you remember that guy we handled you, right? The cultist. Yes, that would be correct. Well, he was... Hmm... Working with, against... Uh, it's not very clear, like, all those groups. I'm not sure if they're working together or against each other's. They, they don't really like each other's. And we got cocked up in the middle of all that. So you're saying that the guy we arrested mm -hmm. isn't linked with whatever you were trying to steal and it's you were attacking my guards. I didn't attack anybody. I don't like hurting people. We were just supposed to get something out of this crook. Well, bad guy. So, I thought it was a lesser evil for something better, you know. So you're I'm acting so vigilante sorry. when there is order in town. <sighs> You're right. That's bad. We shouldn't do that. I'm sorry. Well, sorry what we will be behind those bars. Well. I'll have to grab the statement of my officers and the people over there. The old man crux. Seriously? 
You know him a lot? Bit of Ruka from time to time, but nothing more. It, it, it hmm. might be interesting to look into eventually, but I feel that it might be involved deeper in something else. Singatif, who helped arrested someone a day ago. Hmm. Well, in any case, but... here's your meal. And you just see that he's sliding like soup with a piece of bread, two plates. Oh, good. Thank you. The soup is really, really tasting like water, but there's a sample of flavor. Uh -huh. <laughs> you did don't know they, exactly what it is, but. <laughs> did they take away all our possessions? Yes, armor, backpacks, everything. So technically, I can't really cast anything. Holy symbol! I mean, you know, it's important for someone's fate to keep it. They know what people can <laughs> they do. Know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's no, she technically didn't cast in front of the guards, so they don't think that you would be removing an airquos. Especially they probably have seen that you did it's not magic. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. She'll probably then say, like, a short prayer over her meal. Okay. To make it good and pure of everything. And same for Squish, like a, a group thingy. No, good. Okay. So purify food in water. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh. So you're singing there in prison when uh, Andrus Timber Bricks are coming back to Iwo with this large yeah. chest. <laughs> well, no, the cat. The cat is popping up, <laughs> and Iwo's like. <laughs> I see that there's some of you missing. Yeah, I mean, we did run into a bit of trouble. That uh, was a, a tough mission. We may have had an unfortunate altercation with the law. Altercation with the law. The thing I especially prohibited for this mission. Yes. It was Squish's fault, which is why he's with the law. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> we tried staking it out, but Squish Squash has got some tiny, grubby, little sticky paws, and we, 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 we ended up getting the proof you wanted. Um, Timber looks awkward with this explanation. The cat looks Thank awkward, you, or you're back? No, no, I'm back. Orc. I'm back to an orc with the chest. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Are you Honestly, sure? I don't know exactly what happened, but like, I was outside, staking out the place, thinking we'll wait till nighttime or something like that, and sneak our way in. And then suddenly, there's a mother bone running with the chest. At which point, I don't know. I rule. Had to improvise. A lot of improvising. But we had the chess. <sighs> and I mean, it's not the majority who ended up, you know, getting into trouble with the law. That's a win, right? That counts for something. We'll see what will be the fear of this altercation. You see that he goes into his drawer of his desk. Timber is uh, is staring at the ground and mumbling to himself. There, there was fire. People were screaming. Oh, it was terrible. So it was not only... Like, as you see, he's, he's taking out Thieves' tools. 
from his desk. And so look. Did anybody got injured? And he snaps out of it. Uh, no, no, sir. No. As far as I know, no. I actually made sure, to the best of our abilities, that no one did. I mean, except for maybe uh, the, the, the baker and uh, that gnome lady from... What were they called? The Vermilion something? I mean, they're Vermilion. still alive, weren't they? Yeah. I'm just saying they might have gotten injured because I did kind of like knock them over the head. I mean, this is, I'm sure they're fine. They'll, they'll just wake up with a really big headache. And <laughs> he, he doesn't even look at the lock and you just hear it. <laughs> That's a neat party trick. He opens it and is like, Oh. That's what I feared. Wait, wait. Is it the wrong chest? Or is it the right chest that is really bad? And you see that he goes inside his drawer again. Pull another, and you pull a large leather glove, <laughs> like blacksmith use, and grab whatever's inside that chest, and takes out a short sword. But the short sword is covered in this crimson's. Tentacles, not tentacles, but vines that seems to be growing. But vines more like veins. And it's crawling on it. Like. <sighs> That's not a nice looking short sword. That looks positively. Not delightful. I'm so. I'm surprised you of all people is saying that, Bricks. I mean, look, I like terrible things, but not squishy looking. So let's looking bullshit. All right. I'll, I'll, yeah, noted. Terrible things as long as they're not squishy. <laughs> That's why you don't like squish squash. <laughs> oh. I get it! I will neither confirm nor deny this fact. Hi, Xan. <laughs> we... Another one? <laughs> Another one. Another one. That's fair. This is what we call Rudium. Should I know what that is? Do I do I know what that is? You can make either an arcane or history check. <laughs> okay. I mean, the whole lot of you can do it if you want. Pick one of them. Both are about equivalent. I'm gonna go the arcane route. And that's I'm... actually pretty funny. Okay. Oh, that's, there you go. Actually, I did me thanks to your roll. Yeah. Timber? I choose to fail. You choose to fail? Okay. Yeah. Arcana. Rudium. Rudus. You've heard a bit about, like, the properties of this crimson star. Well, moon in the sky. And a lot of details, Once you, since you've seen it not so long ago. These red tendrils seem to be the same that one is holding a Alexian in the vision. And with your history... Andrus, 
Rudium can be fine found on the black market, especially in Marquette. <laughs> Uh, some of them have been circling in wild mounts, but mm, not, not, not a lot. Zorhast also, but uh, this thing. You've heard rumors that anybody who would be honing it might be falling under some kind of illness. They have ma high magical properties. But that's what you know. Yeah, I've, I've, the word's familiar. Isn't that like some kind of thing that circulates on the black market here a lot? Yes. We've been tracking for a while. And our suspicions was that this old man Crux was a smuggler of those. Well, that's... And you just hear a... He goes to his balcony. Whistle. And you just hear a... Go to the old man Crux and apprehend him. Go with the... End of Hordes. For our station and we have proof. It will be given... To the authorities. No, oh, it sounds to me like we did our job. Yes, but there will be a fee and reparation to pay back. Because with burning, I've heard there was fire. Were any member of the authorities injured? Not that I know of. No, actually, they, they actually got a hold of Squish and uh, Mother Bone pretty easily. Can you give me a deception check? <laughs> I actually don't recall, but okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you were in this small spot where everybody was hurting everybody and Squish just burned them all. <laughs> I choose to forget it and have 22 on my deception check. <laughs> Let me see the stats of Iwa now. <laughs> oh la la Evo, Evo. Uh oh, okay, okay. Still better, you're still better. Alright. Well anyway, mission accomplished. Exactly. <laughs> So, here's the other 250 after payment. And here's the other pouch of 250 for a total of 500 gold. Because you brought back the magic item. There was nothing else in the building. Of this sort. I mean, I was only there for a very short amount of time. Uh, the guy wouldn't let me in. Uh, yeah, but Squish Squash, who is in jail, might have more information. Yeah, so honestly, if you want that information, the then we should probably go and bust them out. At least talk to him. Yeah. We can leave him in there at least for the evening, you know? Let him take a breath. It's fine. All right. Well, you now have the money to maybe bail them out. See what the end of Horde will be paying his fee. We won't be paying for mistakes during missions. Well, I mean, that's fair. I, I guess. Yeah, it's it's it's. You're fair. still hired sword for us. I mean, that, that is true. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we do have money for bail. Keep these sending stones with you. I'll keep in touch. 
Oh, good. We will. Excellent. And he just looks at you until you leave. Right then. Andrew's uh, just like smiles for a long, uncomfortable while, and then he's like, "Oh, okay. okay. What you want us? Okay." And <laughs> come on, get, go leave. Yep. The Time awkward go people of the couple, so. <laughs> <laughs> and when you pass by, there's just question the tiefling like, "Hello." I oh, hope hey. it was. It was. I hope it was fine. Uh, I mean, we 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 got what we went there for in a way, but uh, now uh, we're on the way to the jail, so we can bail out the jail. Squash and mother. Yeah, yeah. Screw's fucked up, so you know we'll we'll just have to bail him out of jail. I mean, to be fair, the guy thought we were robbing him, but we were just relieving him of his illegal Ill possessions. Game. Yes. Might have called the guards, but... You know, it's an yeah. unconventional method, but the results be for themselves. Exactly. Well, I know you're not ill and Tent because you would not have been running back the bodies of uh, our people from the cobblestone, so I will not judge whatever happened. Oh, you accidents. Judge. That's that's all. Yeah, unconventional methods. That's why Very we difficult. hire people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, no one got injured but the bad guys, so. And they're still alive. It's fine. Exactly. <laughs> and, um, you know, think about it, right? If you want to join, they'd be more, a bit more. Uh, I mean, maybe. Like, this, this, this is a lot of fun so far. But then we'd have to be conventional with our methods. Well, I mean, Do you Bricks, really think he Bricks. was conventional? Bricks, we did, we weren't conventional this time, and Ewo still wants to hire us, so. Eh, let's say I'll consider it. I'm not one for authority usually, but you know, if I can do things my way. You could climb the ladder and become the authority. Just saying. That's kind of a given. Of course I would. I would become the most skilled, respected leader ever. <laughs> no thanks for me. So you're going back to jail and Mother Bowen after an hour and all that. Well, before that, just as we leave, I just want a quick scene with Bricks. Oh, cool. Uh, Bricks. What is it? You know, it was my fault too. What, what was? You say it's Squish Squash fault, but I made mistakes. Like, like what? The, the fire. Oh! Huh. How did we expect and, that one? And I attacked... I, I, I clawed the dude. Yeah, I, just, I, I don't like it when you say it's Squish Squash, that's not true. Ah, well. Guess I learned this one. Honestly, it seemed like something Squish Quash would do, especially with fire. But yeah. I didn't see. I was minding my business on the stump. Well, by the stump, really. So, yeah, fair enough. Pat's timber is like, no worries, friend. You can take your half of the blame, no problem. <laughs> but people almost died. Eh, that happens every day, really. Just looks at Andy. <laughs> Wait, am I here, or is this happening? Yeah, yeah, it's it? just just as we're walking. Okay. He didn't take me as a side. He's just... I mean... Uh... Bricks isn't wrong, but... Yeah, we know, we know you're a good person, Timber. We know it wasn't intentional on your part. You know, accidents happen. Exactly! You're surely a better person well. than me. <laughs> okay, I feel better then. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, don't, don't show yourself. You're a good guy. You got this. It's fine. It's fine. Thanks, guys. 
I am the best pep talker ever. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Dory, you're clearly better than me. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> I murder people. You don't. Exactly. It's fine. And uh, after a few minutes, well, mostly half an hour after you got your soup first, Mother Bowen, squish you, get out of your limb and wake up with a short dress in so you can heal yourself up. <laughs> cool. Uh, what is my HP, guys? What am, uh, on Foundry? What is the source? Uh, there's my character sheet. Oh. Uh, short rest. Yes. Uh, and I you can roll the dice. Sure. Yo! Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. I'll give myself some health. Alright. So, Timber a little bit... Not, not Timber. Squish seems a little bit less quashed uh, <laughs> after taking a rest. You... So... You see him in the... There's this ball of soup next to you with bread. Good soup. Just out of habit, Squish would just grab... Try to grab the soup. But it's liquid. <laughs> I would just kind of like... Reach around until grabbing something solid and then just shoving it down his gullet. Um... Morning, Luca. Do you need help? It's morning already? More. How long was I out? Where am I? It's more of a habit, so it's, we're more in the middle of the day, and we are actually in prison. Wow. And well, I'm not gonna, dead. My bones gonna look around to see if there's any guard clothes or paying attention to them. Right now, no. Okay. Um, by the way, if they ask you anything, I told them that the red group made us do it. Okay, I would have just said it was their fault anyway. Yeah, I, I just wanted to be sure that the kobold soul wouldn't be stuck with that. Oh, I would have just said we went off a lead. From when we investigated earlier, when we found that guy. And it led us to them, and we are just trying to shut them down. They, they saw uh, us getting out with a chest, and they don't think that guy is such of a bad guy, so... And I know that he will ask us not to get caught by authority, so I thought better to make sure they can trace that to them. That's fair. Oh, God, my head hurts. Oh, uh, you need uh, some extra help? Ah, my bits are worse. I mean, this is the... Uh... Eighth time I've been knocked out with you guys, so you can only imagine how many more there's been since before that. Oh, my. There's a count. I keep yeah. count. <laughs> wow. Uh, 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 it's for you. I can provide if you need right now, so... Ah, it's fine. It's not like I'll be needing anything in here. It's kind of just the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> the moment of in between those two. <laughs> oh, I mean, eventually we should be able to pay our fee or something to get out of there when they are done with their questions. I'm sure things will work out. I mean, let's be real. My mom won't let me stay in here. 
Yes, of course. So either eventually she's going to intervene or she's going to like let me know when the time to act is. But don't you have to speak with her through fire? Uh, so about that, I can just... It's because she'll just like light a little tiny flame and put it out immediately. <clears throat> Um, I don't need anything to really cast most of my magic. It's just kind of in me. Like, you um, use a symbol, yeah. and some people use books, like bricks. I just have the power. I don't need it from anyone. Oh, interesting. For sure. But... It would be nice to go out clean of this place if we still want to be able to walk around and mark it. Oh, no, I meant I, if I need to talk to my mom. I can just... Okay. Uh, I'm there. just making sure nothing else burns that doesn't need to. I mean, depending on your definition... A lot of things that need to be burned that shouldn't, and a lot of things that shouldn't be burned that need to be. Right. Uh, uh, y y you get my drift. We don't want to be any more trouble. For now. For now. So, like... This is kind of like the cave I grew up in. Just less wet. Oh. And less mold. And less people. Well, less so, kobolds. So it's almost cozy? That's what you're saying? Oh, I never said my home was cozy. It was a cave. With water and mold. But it was home. On the other side, and since the rest and all fits with the, all of our friend Andrew's tension burn bricks, you arrive at the <laughs> barracks where uh, Squish and Mother Bowen would have been holed. There's the officer that recognizes, like, oh, I guess you're here for your uh, cobalt and Minotaur friend. Oh, hey! Uh, how did you know? Well, last time I've seen you when we arrested this cultist, you were all together. Oh, right, that, right. that you, you were, oh, you, your armor just makes you guys all look the same. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you. No offense, by the way. It's all right. But yes, we are. I yeah. reports that my guards were attacked by your cobalt friend. Yeah, he's kind of incorrigible like a child that way. If a child had access to highly destructive magic. Hmm. He, 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 he panics when he sees his reflection, for example, in metal, like your armors. So, um, yeah, it was, it was the fight or flight response from him. Please don't, please don't punish him. He's still learning. Uh, oh, yeah, it's the should... law. So if he attacks, it's 50 gold per guards for their injuries for the affront, and plus another 25 gold for the steel. So okay. your Minotaur friend's going to be at 25 gold also for a total of a fee of 150 gold. I mean, yes, we are law-abiding citizens, so we shall pay that fee and, you know, tell our little kobold to, you know, learn to trust in his reflection mm -hmm. and not set fire to people wearing armor. Sorry about that. So you're the one responsible for the fire also? What do you mean? My guards didn't report that it was you the cause of the fire, and you said sorry for the fire. 
how, how many further damage would that be? It's just enough, and he opens his pouch for 37 gold. And please, Andrus, roll me a d20. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Andrus didn't actually see anything. <laughs> uh, d20. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are the dice? There they are. Seventeen. Is that good? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. You hear the door behind you opens. With a, with a voice that you recognize because you've seen only once, it was one of the, well, the elven lady that was the monk, you remember, with the, mm. the dreads on the side, is just kicking someone in, is like, let's go, holding the crux. Hey! You know you're and you're ending up here. <laughs> hey, you're still alive! Oh, yeah! Somehow. I, I see you've uh, picked up a uh, friend here. Yes. He will sent me. He was uh, unconscious on the scene. But he was alone. Oh. Well, oh, that's that's good then. Is it? You didn't say in the report that there was people of the Vermilion consortium. With yeah, yeah, I guess she must have woken up. Yeah, it was a gnome. Like, yay, hi. And Mother Bowen and Squish, you hear it from the prison. You recognize the voice of Brix and then Andy. I have oh. a distinctive voice. Oh, that's the name I was trying to say. The vermilion something. <laughs> well, at least she's still in good health, clearly. Ha! Huh. Because I don't need to ask mom. So, um, he's been put under arrest since they were. They found proof of rudium weapons. In mm -hmm. his possession, he was trying to smuggle it. The officer's like, I will need to see the proof of these such weapons. Yes, uh, my superior will be coming up shortly. Just needed to do the arrestation before the lovely fellow, as she <laughs> pushed him in one of the jail and closed the door. <laughs> um, Don't run away. Smart. Because he really would have. So, um... Might want to... Turn off the thing for the fire. <sighs> These 37 gold piece will suffice. There you go, Timber. Okay. A law-abiding citizen. Now, at least. No, I think you mean always, Bricks. I mean, yes. Yes, he is back on the right path. He was and still is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see the officer goes to the jail door. Turn the keys. Because who gave the gold of the hundred and fifty? I'll, uh, I mean, we'll take it out of the reward we got. Yeah, the, right. the five hundred, which which we haven't split yet. So someone has. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, yeah, I can. I didn't add it, but I can. I'll keep track of it at least, so that we can <laughs> split the rest. Perfect. So, these. The gold the spade. The... All right, you're free to go. Your belongings are in these two chests. Left is the double, the right the minotaur. Hmm. 
Thank you. Next time, try to do less damage. And if well, you attack one of my guards again, scary. it will not be only a fee. You'll be rotting in here for at least a month. I don't know how long that is. <laughs> it's long. Get your ass out of there. Yeah. Well, well, if your guards are in any need of uh, healing at any time, I'm always happy to help as she takes her things and go out of the place. She's a great healer. Very comforting. I can also mend armor. I've done that before. Yes, this would be community work. Anyway, get out of here. Okay, bye. Oh, by the way, how is that, like, cultist dude doing? He's been sent to prison. Good for him. <laughs> Just, like waddle out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he just that <laughs> in the the monks is. So I'm um, leaving you there. Have a great one. Try to be quiet. I won't say like stay calm and sound but uh quiet i mean it's a little hard doing that when you're wearing you know split mail but yeah yeah seriously or we can just keep it low for a while or two guys i'm pretty sure it's gonna work that's fair sounds like a plan and she leaves on these words so now that the group is all back together we'll take a short break <laughs> Sorry, Squish, for the small parts. <laughs> so, we'll be leaving for a short break, and we'll be back to you shortly after Deal's Mischief.
everybody. We are now going. Well, you're leaving the barracks of the quarter of the river district. But the river district was already in your district, so you're really close to the Arid Mongoos. Yeah. That's convenient. So, you're out of there, in the streets. Do you want to do anything in particular? Was this just our morning, or...? Um, yeah, I'm like, what time is it at this point? Right now, it's like mid-afternoon. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, a good time close, for a to, close to dinner. It's a good time for a drink. Yeah, want to want to go and grab some food? Yes. Yeah, probably. And beer! <laughs> that, too. I'm pretty sure they, they you probably didn't eat all that well in that jail sale, I imagine. And we kind of skipped through lunch, so... I had a piece of bread. It's kind of stale. Really reminded me of food. Then let's get some good food. Because we got paid! Oh, that's right. We should probably split this, actually. I mean, so we got 500, but we used 150 for your bail money. Um, So that leaves us with... 350? I'll... Believe you. Yes. Five hundred fifty. It's seventy. Yeah. yeah, seventy. Okay, so I'll count them. Here's seventy pieces for you, bricks. Seventy <laughs> pieces for timber. Seventy pieces for Mother Bowen. No, thank you. Seventy pieces for Squish Squash. Thanks. And. Well, Timber, you yes. you used your own money as well. Oh, that, like, I that, kind of feel bad about that, that. that. That was my fault. It's okay. Huh? I, I, I paid Are you the sure? Damage. I can I can give you some of mine. No, no, no. Why, why did you pay more money? I paid for the damages of the fire. Yeah, he felt bad about the whole... I was business. wondering why it got so big. I was impressed with myself. <laughs> but I mean, uh, I didn't think I was doing it that big. Well, apparently huh. you weren't. Timber did half of it. Alright wow. then, so. Yeah. What do you mean how? Fire! Yeah. Yeah, it is. It was fire. Hmm. Um... Can we not talk about that for a bit? No worry. Perfect. Food and beer. Let's go. Ha ha ha. So you're going back in the arid mongoose? My gosh. More food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Triumphant heroes. So you see the uh, the owner of the place. So, um, you would like to taste one of our, well, what day are we? Today's recipe. It is a, of another kind of flavor. And you s just see at first, it doesn't look like much. It looks like a cake. But when you pay more attention closely, Mother Bowen you, you, and Timber, you see it more quickly, but it's made of rice. And there seems to have, like, pepper jelly on top of the cake. Oh, what is this? I've never seen anything like that. And all the side of the cake seems to be... Well, all the top seems to be burnt. Like it's been <laughs> swept up and just let slide. And uh, it's like... It's called a taquin. It is, uh... And as you just take a knife and 
slide and split it a bit. You see all the inside that there is uh, yogurt, rice, uh, saffron, eggs, and chicken fillet that is all melted inside of it. And the smell is really good. Your nose. <laughs> is it a dessert or a meal? Yeah, it is a meal. Definitely looks like a meal. I kind of want to try that. I mean, at first it looked like a desert. I want meat. And, uh, well, there's the meat inside, and, uh, the part of the rice is where you get the stuff for the tummy. And you want meat also with that? Yeah! Wine also, or are we going only for the I'm meat? going for mead or ale. Ale? All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's going to be... Blah, 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 blah. Ale, mead, where are you? Here you are. It's two silver pieces for the gallon, so I guess you'll be good for that for tonight. Except if you want to get really shit face. I mean, we can start with the gallon and then see how things go. Yes, I like where you're thinking. <laughs> All right, I'll slide two silver pieces over. All right. <laughs> you just see, you just take the large carafe on the counter. And, uh, how many cakes? I mean, one, two, two for me, definitely. You need those proteins, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to get meat. those gains. Cake. You just oh. want the meat squish. Okay. I mean, you just give him a chicken, Smoke. really. Uh, I'm curious, and I did not eat much, so I'll take a piece of cake. cake. New cake. Well, the cake is five silk pieces. Sure. There you go. I'll give him a gold. <laughs> Perfect. And as you uh, come in, I'll, uh, I'll be bringing the cake upstairs. You're still renting for another few days for the... Upstairs? It's, I know it's still paid for, like, three more days, so it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we need to stay for longer, then we'll we'll come back and pay for more nights. I don't know how much the meat is, but here you go. I'll put another gold up there. Okay, thank you. And yeah, I'd go check for special meats to see if I have any. Yes, meat! And uh, you go up, up there, you're, uh, there's all, again, cushions a bit everywhere <laughs> where you can sit, and a low table. And uh, you see, after maybe two or three minutes after, the large platters of cakes. Poof, 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 and and uh, Squish, you have a lot of uh, different... Uh, it is called uh, Bagali Poil. It is uh, mostly uh, lamb shanks that are uh, raising above and uh, with a really onion-like sauce. Cool. Okay. So, uh, here it is. So you have hey. all the floor to you, the mead, the food, and uh, let's change the creepy music for something else, uh, nah, shall nah. we? <laughs> squish squash, you still, you still look hurt. Hold, hold, hold there, okay? That's fine. I oh, got no. meat. Oh, just keep eating. <laughs> and I'll eat you for fifteen. <laughs> I would have been fully healed once we slept. <laughs> you still look bad now. Yes. When doesn't squish look bad? Me to almost max. You went from badly to barely? Nice. I had 16 out of 40, and now I'm at 31 out of 40. Yeah, not bad. Oh. 
So, uh, anything you'd like to discuss while eating, spending the evening? They haven't seen what you've seen in the chess. So. Yeah, so, um, we ended up, uh, going back in and getting the chest after you guys were arrested. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Ah, so oh. we were just a really good distraction. Pretty much. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, well, I'm glad it served a purpose then. Bruh, that's why we got paid. Yeah, exactly. That's why we got paid. Yeah, we wanted the money to get you guys out. Yeah, but what was in it? (laughs) Oh, it was like this really like terrifying looking short sword. It had like a bunch of red veins like crawling all over it. Like the vision. Uh yeah, Iwo said it was rudium. Like the moon? Yeah. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Um, they do sound kind of similar. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's, it's... I didn't, no, I didn't no make that I didn't make that connection. Uh... Wait, they're called the Crimson People. That's like the color of Rouges, too. Yeah. Are they like moon cultists or something? Maybe. Because uh, that, that, that gnome lady wanted that sword, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Should we do something about them? They sound like bad people. Um. Hmm. So what if? Isn't there a temple in the jungle or something about Rudius? Yeah. I mean, we, we gotta figure out what we want to do. To be able to get to the temple. Mm-hmm. We gotta figure that out. But what if these vermilion people you are using the same power that's keeping what's his face prisoner? Lexian was it? Something like that. I mean, maybe. What do we like? Knock on their door and try and see if they can point us in the right direction or something? Well, if we could find somebody, we could make can, them can, tell us where to go. Maybe. Can we think that the cobbled soul are on the crimson veil people? What? Consortium yeah. of the Vermilion Dream? That color, I can't remember it every time. Too many red thing, colors. Uh, so, yeah, uh, can we think that the Cobalt Soul are untrue the real million people? Because maybe they know about their activities and the temple in the jungle. I mean, I mean they are know. about research. I mean, they probably know a lot of things, including about the temple. Probably. Well... They did say that after we do a few more jobs, they'll get us directions to the temple or a map or something. Oh, right. right. So they knew about them somehow. They must so really, like knew. We're just kind of sitting here waiting for more work so we can try and actually get this goddamn guy out of this goddamn hole. <laughs> Figuratively. Which makes me think who are those people, really? Ah, uh, well, I mean, if they're using magic from the moon, they could just, it could just give them power, like uh, a deity gives you. Oh, no, no, I was talking about the cobalt soul. They, they are shittier than what we thought. I feel like most good people are. Hmm. I mean... The gnome lady was shooting some kind of like weird red lightning, like, uh, what was her name? Aloysia? Brex, you're muted. Aloysia? Aloysia okay. was, uh, not the gnome. She, she was a tall lady that we met, uh... Yeah, 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 but we, f- we fought when we were getting the chess back, we interrupted some kind of, you know, Ooh. illicit 
transaction between. So she was there the too. Organ. Not Alicia, well, but another person of the consortium was there. Yeah, I think she was the so, one actually buying the sword. Yeah. So, technically, a total lie to the officer, but I did not. They were really implied in this. Oh. Oh, did you did? What did you tell the guard? Oh, uh, they asked us who uh, asked us to go there. So I pinned that on the other group rather to tell them on the console because he, he didn't want any, you know, contact with the authorities. Oh, well, I, I mean, I guess it's a happy coincidence because, yeah, there, 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 was, there was a lady from the consortium there, but apparently she might have escaped. You didn't tie Maybe. her up? Well, I mean, we were in a hurry. Guards were on the way, and we only had, like, a minute to grab the chest and run. Pretty much. Mm. You said she was small? You could have just wrapped her in a cloak and carried her. I mean, I didn't right want off. to carry her around. And that we would be have suspicious. To... We would have exactly. had to explain that to the guards. Like, carrying a chest around town, that's, you know fine and we can explain that and well timber turned into a cat so that kind of worked out but carrying around a gnome all wrapped up well that is suspicious nobody would have seen him wrapped up because you would have wrapped up and they'd be like what's that you'll be like oh it's just meat that i'm delivering yeah it could have been a face too wait timber (laughs) if you would have carried the gnome lady would as a cat would you have also (laughs) like absorbed her like into you Uh, Oh god, that please, sounds no. very gross. Okay. So I, I mean, sure you're the one who has these powers. I don't know. Be- before oh. we go further in the conversation, are we eating in the main room or are we eating our- in our own quarters? Y- it's a, 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 you brought the food at your level. Uh, yeah. You have the whole, you have the last floor. Whole okay, team, so oh, no problem. <laughs> Maybe you, 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 can you help took it me. for that because there's nobody that will be coming up to your place. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we know where their hideout is. If we want to go back and try and find the gnome lady, well, no, we, we could do that. One person was hiding out. Yeah, we only know where Aloysia was, which does not mean they were all there. Because we didn't see her there. Uh-huh. Maybe, uh, I know, maybe we could, like, spread a rumor about some other, uh, like, rudi- rudium artifact that we are in possession of to, like, lure her out. You know, you'd have to make sure Boo knows about it so they don't come, like, beat us up. I mean, it's something we could suggest at UO. I mean, it's a possibility. We definitely need Ewo's help because we don't exactly have the capabilities of starting a rumor that gets anywhere in this town. Yeah, and the Cobalt Soul would have that capacity. Also, Andy's pretty chatty. Well, I mean, that what? only gets you so far. What like, are you implying? You could just talk to people. Like, after a while, I think. I think a lot of people would know. Huh. See, I'd be really good at spreading rumors. Timber thinks so. I well, think you need more than one person to try to spread a rumor. Yeah. And you need to be able to tell the correct people. There's I mean, most you people just are do. gonna know what this is. Is are there were there are there rules to spreading rumors? Well, no, but if you spread a rumor to somebody who does not care or knows nothing about the thing, they're not gonna tell anybody. They're just I mean, gonna I be could like threaten okay. them into telling someone else. I don't know. I can't believe I'm saying this, but sometimes threatening is not the solution. I, can't, I, I, I think we shouldn't think spread this. rumors, okay, Andy? I mean, okay. I'm just... I we I think we should still suggest it to Ewo, though. We can definitely suggest it to them, because they most likely have the connections or know where to drop the rumors. Because location is key for wanting to spread anything. Like that. What if we just yell it from, like, a rooftop or something? Then a lot that, of people would hear it. That's going to be very suspicious, though, because 
Uh, if these are like powerful things, then we definitely wouldn't want to just be screaming that we have it. But That's what fair. if we want people to know that we are, are powerful and in possession of this powerful artifact and that they should, you know, beware of us? As much as I like that idea, we should probably be powerful, you know, enough to actually merit that kind of reputation. Hmm. So that we and don't, I don't know, look like get attacked by the entire city's worth of people. I mean, I think we've been doing pretty well for ourselves. Look, I can't disagree with that. But still, I like my life. I like being in one piece. So whatever we do, preferably something that doesn't get me hurt. Or at least I mean, killed. Jail is not any better. Mm. It wasn't that bad. Remind me yeah. of my cave. You really want to eat stale bread for the rest of your life, Squish Squash? I used to eat mold. You wouldn't get any meat and jail, is all I'm saying. Well, technically, there was no mold on the bread, it was all clean. Still very stale. Again, it reminds me of home. There's a reason I left. Boring. <laughs> but all right. So what's our game plan here? Ooh. I mean, I guess we can go back to the Cobalt Soul and pitch our plan to Ewo, see if he likes it. Do you think maybe we should give a little bit of space for a, a day or so? It, yeah, I mean, he was kind of pissed when he saw us this morning that early. So I guess uh, that man likes his peace. Yeah, but like, what, it, what else is there to do here? That's a good well, point. I remember him telling us that he would contact us when we had a job, when he had a job for us before. Yeah, but this time we have a job for him. Uh... You, you really just need entertainment, right? I mean... Uh, how, how about we go see if there's anything going on in town? You know, sometimes there are shows, activities... That works. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't planning on going to him tonight. I certainly hope not. I think a good night's sleep would at least do some of us some good. <laughs> yeah, some of us. I look down to Squish Squash. <laughs> <laughs> I'll light you on fire. You can certainly try, little guy. But yeah, we can, I don't know, give it a day and see if something pans out and uh, go see a show or something. I haven't been to the theater in so long. I don't think I've ever been to the theater. Huh. It's fun. It, 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 like, people act out stories and tales from far away and long what ago. What kind of stories, though? I mean, it really depends. There's, like, okay. tragedies or, like, comedies mm -hmm. or uh -huh. tragic comedies. Or drama, too, yeah, with love I stories. Mean, I mean, really, yeah. There's, there's oh, no they're called that way because they mix tragedy and comedy. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can, we can do that once we're done eating. I think I'm gonna stay in and rest. That's a fair plan for you. You got beat up today. Yeah, but I did a lot of damage. Yes, it's uh, kind of the trade-off. I guess so. <laughs> Why wow, you do nothing. Yes, and, you and never I stay in one piece. Absolutely. And you know what? The job gets done anyways. You're welcome. Now, I mean, you're, you're not you're the welcome. one who ended up stealing the chest. Squish, squash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know. But, yeah. 
if my plan initially worked, then we would have had it. But then if, you know, you guys didn't have a distraction taking all the guards away and everything, you wouldn't have been able to go back to get it. By the way, Squish, did you find anything else in there aside the chest? Um, That's right, Ewa wanted to know that. No. But I'm sure there's probably like trap doors or something around there. I didn't really get a full time to look. Should we go back? Uh, Maybe we can find some traces of that gnome. I mean, thing. I think they would scour it. We probably want to avoid the where we just kind of committed crimes. I'm not good at crimes. I mean, I think that's a good thing, Timber. Yeah. Okay, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to go to the theater or do we want to go back to the bakery? Well, not the bakery, but you know what I mean. I mean, it is a bakery being used as a front for illegal activities. That. Honestly, I'm down to just go see a show. I don't know what more we can get from the bakery. Ugh. And plus, um, if, oh, I was going to say, if anybody from the Crimson Consortium goes there, I'm tapped out, so I would not be able to really fight. Well, I mean, you don't need to. We can take care of it, but... Yeah, maybe, maybe we're better off just, you know, being law-abiding citizens for tonight and go see a show. <laughs> At least tonight. Yeah, just one night off from doing too many things. Causing chaos and destruction! <laughs> See, Timber, it's a good thing you're not like that. Mm. But maybe I am. I don't know. No, nah. oh, you're like Timber. Or Bricks. Oh god, I hurt my head. You're like Bricks. You're just soft and gooey on the outside, and on the inside, you're also soft and gooey. I don't think we got much alike. He has these things like regrets and hesitations. Well, I am an angel. Yeah, you're both pretty nice guys. <laughs> you say that, but you really don't do destruction. Yeah, like, you're actually like. pretty nice. Yeah. Not to me, but in general. Yeah, because I only do it when I feel like it. <laughs> Seems like you never want to. Yeah, it's not been useful so far. Except for that Crimson Dominion lady of something. She was fun. You know, to shoot up. <laughs> Vermilion Consortium. Yeah, that. Consortium of the Vermilion Dream. You know, I think Brix is just pretending to be like, kind of like me. I think you're actually a really good guy on the inside. You just don't want anyone to know. Oh, sweet, sweet Squish. Wait, Squish Squash, are you actually calling yourself a good guy? No, Bricks. Calling Bricks a good guy. <laughs> yeah, because you said like me. No, he's so. pretending to be like me. Oh. But really, he's just a good guy. <sighs> so, so small-minded in your plans. I think big. Big. Yeah, plans. you know, definitely small-minded. It's good you know. Very good you know. It's nice to know our limitations. All right, so a show? Yes. I'm going to stay in. Oh, I'll stay too. Mother Bowen, what do you want to do? I need a distraction. Well, then both options sound good. <laughs> I'm getting out. <laughs> <laughs> Show it is! <laughs> Onwards into town! <laughs> Alright, so what kind of shows? <laughs> I so mean, like, yeah, well, uh, around, around what <laughs> guy? There's the guided <laughs> district that is a bit more. Uh... How can I say? Rough around the edges. 
Let me just see. I can't they, find they my fucking. They only have one stabbing per day. One stabbing per day. <laughs> I just want my map of Ankaran. Thank you. All right. So, Olivium, the Ridge, Circlet District. All right. So, the guided dist. There's the Cerulean Palace. That is. Uh, the only the exterior and what's the inside of the palace is mostly official business that is allowed in there. So, a, a really nice place to see, but not a place you can stay. Um, Sir Clint, there is a. Uh, uh, first lands, uh, uh, there, there's an inn that is called the Step Aside. Um, there is. A uh, holy site that is called the Blessing Well at the Art of the Guided District. Here, there is the Crossings of the Eventide. It's a 200 feet high crossing a series of tombs carved into the cliff that bordered the Guided District. There's not much of a show over there. Yes, tombs. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless there's a necromancer involved, then it could be quite... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, I mean, depends on the type of show. Uh, it's Temple of the Mantor. We already don't know that there is no show over there. Um, bridge, there is a casino. <gasps> there might be a show at the casino. Like mm -hmm. the Celine Dion of Ancarel or something. <laughs> There's the Ball of Judgment. Where is the combat tournament arena? <gasps> that too. Oh. Blood sports. And uh, that's pretty much the places of interest where there could be a show. <laughs> so I've either blood they, sport they, or casino. there are some street shows from here and there, but uh, mostly independence. Uh, is there anything in there? Mm, no, it's the in the in the in the Suncut Bazaar that you can find the casino that is called the Lux Runs. I mean, I've never, I've never been to the theater, so I definitely uh, defer to Brix's judgment. I mean, depends on whether you want to see some kind of show at a casino or blood sport. <laughs> Both can be fun. Depends on your mood, really. What about you, Mother Bowen? Anything. Anything to take my mind off is fine. <laughs> so, casino? I'm down for the casino, yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> Maybe I can enter the blood sport tournament when I'm, you know, tip top shape. Yeah, that'd be amusing. I mean, you'd probably go somewhere in it. I mean, I've been doing pretty well for myself. Exactly. I mean, it depends on how much of a bloodthirsty champion they have. No, I can take him, probably. Well, now I'd have to bet on you. See what happens. <laughs> All right. So here we go for the Sunka Bazaar. <laughs> Going downtown. I mean, we've been down walking fast. No Texas fans and I'm homebound. Alright. So. You would be right there in the Sonka Bazaar. And uh, the casino over there is. um. Let me just uh, grip it. Grab there. All right, so it's a 
stands three story tall and is made of speckled red porphyry and topped with metallic domes in the Palatian Marquesian style. After dark, faint purplish lights escape from the slit like windows of the casino, and the sounds of laughter and music carries into the nearby streets. Inside the casino, the tables are draped in crimson cloth and fills the floor space. Each location crowded with patron patrons, trying their hands at one of the game of chances, employees dressed in uniforms of dark grey and gold push through the, tongue, the throng while carrying trays of food, drinks and coin between tables. You can clearly see the owner of this place is uh, Lady Halfling. It seems to be dressed a bit like the robes you've seen on Jamil, but with the mix of uh, that crimson, gray, and gold on it instead of the blue and uh, cream like Fancy. colors. And uh, she's like, Hello, newcomers. Welcome to the Luxuran. I am Adima Shemsilva. You know this place. Uh, would we go already for the tables, or are you here for something more specific? I mean, we'll get around to the tables. But is there, like, music or a show? I would look for a show. Shows a like show, a show, a show, a show. Well, it's true that it's been a while since the last time. It's been a while. Give me a persuasion a check, Bricks. I'm gonna try. That's a pretty decent one. It's been a long time since I've seen the show. Bards! Step up and go on the stage. You are doing a show right now. The bards are like, we're not only doing background music. What the fuck? Uh, okay, fine. Uh, like, uh, five minutes, milady. Uh, yes, yes. Five minutes you have. But that's all. So... Uh, the show will be starting in about five minutes. Can do you want some refreshments or any food of like, or maybe a game of ice? Wow, what a coincidence! We got here five minutes before the show. That's great. Timing is impeccable. <laughs> Just uh, I'll have, have I'll to have. drink. Yes, I'll have. I'll that. have. I'll have ale, definitely. Uh, do you have some kind of hard liquor? Something really nice. Um, I think we could have something, uh, like, um, uh, I think we have a whiskey of some sort behind. Oh, how much? How much? Uh, it would be a gold piece for the glass and, uh, for the, for the ale. It would be, where did I put up my screen? <laughs> <laughs> it would be wherever his screen went. The mug would be for copper, gentlemen. And anything All for right. your lady friend over there, as she looks for the mother bone. Lady? Ooh, that's fancy. Um, uh, Everything's I'll... fancy here. Ooh, well, I like I'll prob probably take the same thing as uh, my little friend over there. If you can't handle your liquor, you will have to clean after. And she she only looks at bricks. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I, for a moment I was fearing she was saying that to me. Was like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> However, I am going to pull out the two gold and four coppers to pay for everyone. Oh, first round's on me. People with a little bit of sense. Such a wow. uh, I'm surprised, Bricks. You know, occasionally you gotta take care of the people who take care of you. Reluctantly. <laughs> Unlike Squish, I can appreciate that sometimes one needs a little bit of teamwork to do great, great destruction. 
I mean, I can certainly hit things, but fancy magic, I mean, that's all in your hands. And squish squashes and timbers and mother bones. Actually, I'm the only one here who can't do magic, so it's a good thing you guys are here. I mean, sometimes you need bonks, really, so. You're good. It's fine. You're great. You hear from a table today, and an Alpha fellow's like, So, you're feeling lucky for a Havendra's favor? And he just shows you dice. I mean, weren't we gonna watch the show first? It's only a roll of dice. It only takes a few seconds. Minimum bet is 25 gold piece, though. All right, let's go. I'm, I'm going over to the table. All right, I'll follow. All right. So, how it works. You can bet the minimum wager is 25 gold piece to Hunters, and you roll 2d6. And you win back twice your bet on the roll of a 7 or a 12. If you don't win, you can roll another d6 and add it to either the total by wagering another 25 gold piece. So if you bust 12 or 7, you lose. But you can still wager more with the 25 extra gold piece. Okay, I think I So if you're lucky... Yeah, well, money is easy come, easy go. So why? I'll, not? I'll, I'll try it. We made, we made some good money today, and I'll put twenty five down. All right. So, Brex, roll me two d six. For a six, do you want to wager twenty five more and take the chance to grab a seven or a twelve? Or you want to stay there with your 25 and lose 25 gold. Eh, why not? I'm going to throw the 25 gold on the table. <laughs> All right. If we can't get the money back. <laughs> All right, roll 2d6. No, no, then, then now no, you, one, no. you add it. You can roll <gasps> only one. Well, you got it with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one was the first one. Yeah, I don't know. Arguably. The first one would be the three, so uh, I'll yeah, just yeah. just roll another D6. I will be okay. benevolent. Okay. <laughs> nah. For a total of ten. So it's like, huh? Sorry, seems like Evandro's not on your side tonight. <laughs> you can grab yeah. the 50 gold piece. And so you were going also, fella? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, all right. Roll me those 2d6, Ari. For an ah, So close. Do you wager 25 more? And maybe win a total of, uh, of 100 if you roll a 12? Let's do it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. And roll up four. Come on. One d6. Four a ten. Can I like knock the table? <laughs> See if it rolls. <laughs> to four. Do, do you want to do it subtly? Or... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Give me a, uh, I don't know, a slate of end check. <laughs> I got super good at those, but whatever. Why not? Oh, it's not too bad. 14. You have a d4, because I will be rolling perception. Because that's his job. <laughs> yeah. So you, like, roll? So roll me another d6. <laughs> To see on which face it would have fallen. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, for eleven, like you like bumped a bit, but it doesn't seem to be moving at all. Like, yeah, like, 
Ha! Huh. Only one short. You know, you can still wager another 25. Yeah, I mean, the and maybe starting. roll the one for a hundred and fifty gold piece. One last time. The roll for the okay, one, or you want to try time. the whole thing again? I'm gonna try the whole thing again. <laughs> so, is it uh, down for you, big fella? Assuming Fine, you're I'll, good. I'll, 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 I'll try to get that one. You want to roll that one? Yeah. Oh, then I'm going to wait. I get. I got to see this. Yeah, I'm going to try. So here's another 25. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try to bump it again? <laughs> you can try to bump it, but now I will roll with advantage. Uh, no, I won't. I can still roll lower than your slate of I hand. know, but, you know. <laughs> Getting caught in a casino. A <laughs> yeah. So he's like, oh. Exactly. I'm like, yeah, no, I know I know how casinos work. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. And he <laughs> gathered a 75 gold piece. <laughs> oh. So you wanted to go again? Yeah, Dublin one last friend? time. Absolutely. All right, 2d6 it is. And he slides you 2d6. Four and total of nine. So, are you feeling to dare Avandra's luck? Yes. So another 25 on? Oh, gosh. Uh, sadly a 15 is too much my friend this will end here as he gathers slinks. and this is ah. how my friends you see how casino make their money <laughs> absolutely <laughs> ah well right. oh, it's, it's okay, okay. It's, it, 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 luck was not on their side but at least they have a show <laughs> this is where you see you hear the bards Starts playing a bit further, and uh, there's a lot of prestige station, and there's even pyrotechnics that are used for this specific show. I mean, on the bright side, they probably won't kick us out now. We spent so much money. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. We did fill their pockets, so. And uh, that whiskey that he brought you is a real good one. Like it, it was not a, it was the drum that was in there, <laughs> but uh, you took your time because it was. I hope because I know Mother Bowen would maybe chug it. I don't know. <laughs> she looks a bit depressed. <laughs> I'm, I'm <taking> <laughs> Mother Woman is a minotaur of pleasure. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> She'll take her damn time to enjoy the only little good thing happening to her right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. This sounds so sad. <laughs> uh, here, here. The place all over is pretty nice. But, hmm, Mother Bowen, hmm. roll me an insight yes. check. Oh, shit. What's going on in this place? Hmm. All werewolves, classic trope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rolled poorly, so. Well, it's still 17. This place is pretty tight. Like meaning, this is doesn't it doesn't seem to be a dirty place. Meaning that like the casino was cheating or doing other dices and all that. So a lot of people are 
not ruining themselves, just like you did. <laughs> because, you know, 75 gold would be like 75 months for a peasant salary. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's fine, I still have, have plenty of gold left. <laughs> but um, there's still some people watching and there's they have their own bouncers <laughs> that is not the Hand of Horde but even the Hand of Horde is not necessarily looking uh, really high. and look at the Phoenix Lair raiding us oh! what's up hello Phoenix! raiders My players are losing a lot of uh, money right now. (laughs) I love you too, guys. (laughs) Where you want to spam sun on (laughs) sure? Without chat. Talking about Viva Mother Bowen. <laughs> Hello there, peeps. So uh, after uh, after a short uh, short combat, because uh, my fighter Andres Dargon wrecked the shit out of like the two people, and my druid cast old person, and my encounter was totally ruined. So I had to put up some challenge in there. But yeah, uh, it's okay. It sounds man. like a you problem. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they bailed out their friends out of jail because uh, they attack guards and stuff while they're trying to rob someone. And uh, right now they're enjoying themselves out in a casino, losing a lot of money in a really short time. Like any criminal would do. <laughs> like any criminal mm. would do. That's true. Thank you, Timber. <laughs> team. So, uh, they were now enjoying a show of Bards with Pyrotechnics and all, and uh, Mother Bowen, or uh, Cleric of the Everlight, Minotaur, from Xorhost, is uh, looking around, and this place seems pretty tight. This, is, Like I said, it, was, it looks... Pretty serious, and no, like you don't see any pickpockets around. They they want to keep their reputation clean. Oh. So, with all that, you enjoyed your show, enjoyed the gold liquor and ale, the lost of money. Sadly, there is two other games that you can play inside there uh, instead of uh, Avendra's favor. There's Gambit of Horde. This is a card game. It requires a 50 gold piece if you still have that amount of money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then it goes into the pot of the center. And each participant draw cards. A second and then a third. At each draw, someone can raise the bet, stand pat, or fold. And after the third card is drawn is whoever the highest ranking can take the pot. And there's also... Con Adrensal, also known as Run of Luck. It would be mostly like horse bets, but on lizards. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did this with the Aries already. <laughs> I'm remembering this. <laughs> hustle and bustle, let's go. <laughs> let's go, hustle and bustle, let's go. <laughs> so... When you bet on the one, you double the wager. You can bet each player can bet ten or more on a single racer in a field of three, and you double the wager. If you have the second place lizard, it's half the wager that you get back. So, is there any of the games that you would like to play? <laughs> Andrus is definitely like gunning for the lizards. He's like, oh my god, lizards! They're like little squ- squish squashes, huh? <laughs> it's a little meta, but there's lizards. I gotta, I gotta. Go there. <laughs> you're going for the lizards, Mother Bowen. When uh, you're not tainted by your game of play. Well, gods are not involved in those things. <sighs> I mean, Evandra could be. <gasps> oh, that would be bad. No, you should not use gods for that. That's bad. <laughs> So no, 
If, if gods are implied, Ashi doesn't want to you know, use gods for bad use. <laughs> All right, so let's go with the bets for uh, the lizards, then. There is a pinky that is literally a pink lizard. There is... Spoof! That is, seems to be a li- like a more tiny wi- lizard with, uh, like, missing still uh, one, of the th- one of his uh, finger on one of his paws. And there is Kiki. Kiki is... A really large one. <laughs> a really large one. Lizard. Brown and black with like l- some gl- gray stripe on his back. Seems a bit old. Is but he's bigger than the other lizard? two. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the three. Is Race. that a minimum bet? Ten would be. I'm, I'm putting 15 on the little, little uh, one with the missing finger. I've got a thing for amputated things <laughs> <laughs> oh tripod it's exactly tripod so I'm, that, that's my luck i'm going for yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh pinky oh pinky? no you should have go for the big one look at him He's so i mean big. why don't you go for the big one huh mother bone scared of a little <gasps> gambling oh, that would be bad i'll just put on 10 then <laughs> <laughs> there goes Mother Bowen into like <laughs> losing all her money in despair. Yeah, I'll, I'll, start, I'll put ten <laughs> So her snuff control lasted all of five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, at least if I'm losing it to you guys, eh. is it that? Let me check if I have the right song. We're getting lizard racing songs. Yes. Let's go. I have it. <laughs> okay, yeah. I have it here. Lizard race song. <laughs> so let's roll. It's usually 3d4s, but I'll roll one each to see who's in advance. <laughs> oh, she's excited now, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with Pinky. Let's go, Pinky! Pinky. Two steps. Rolling now for a friend. Spin! Come on! Oh, Spin yeah. is in three! <laughs> Come on, and let's go for Kiki. Kiki! Oh, Kiki is head to head with uh, <laughs> our little friend Pinky. But oh. this Pink is like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy! <laughs> Second round! Oh, get little bastard! We're going with Pinky with a three, so a total of five. Let's go, Pinky! Come on, Frank. And then Spin! <laughs> oh, Spin slowed down now. He's now in position four, so now you just see Pinky sliding on left. And then let's go for Kiki. Kiki. Oh, Tokyo Drift. Oh, Kiki Tokyo Drift <gasps> is shit out of this. <laughs> I get. So both Pinky and Kiki are in first position. Let's go, Pinky. So right now, Andres, roll for Pinky. <gasps> All right. <laughs> So D4, let's go, Pinky. I believe in you. Oh, ah. shit. That's a very good row. All right, three. So it would be a total of eight. Do you want to add your D4 to that roll? Ooh. <gasps> I do. This is so important, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, it's, still, it's still something. For a total of ten. So, Kiki. <laughs> no, 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 Pinky okay. is in Pinky. 10. Let's follow up with Spin. That is now at 4. Will he have the guts to go through everything? Come on. Or roll the d4, Bricks. Oh. For a total of 6. So if he goes for a 10, it goes toast to toe with Pinky. Do you want to add your d4? 
Oh, you know I'm going to. Come on. <laughs> Not even a question. Come on, my little amputee. Let's go. <gasps> oh, that's oh, close. So close. Uh, nine. <laughs> Maybe you will, you will get back half your wager. We don't know. Because yeah. Kiki has now to roll. Kiki Mother Bowen. Go on, my little Kiki. Oh, Ooh, shit. Kiki was five, so he's now at eight. Eight. And I'm adding my D4 too. Guys, you know. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Kiki. At first, you were like, and Speed was like, and then you almost crushed Speed <laughs> when he was going. And then you, there's just Pinky crawling in front. And there's just Kiki and go to put over Pinky and cross o above. And Kiki is the winner! And Mother Bowen didn't want to gamble. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, you won, Mother Bowen. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, Mother Bowen, you get your 10 back plus the 10 because it is a, a, a doubling your wager. And oh. second position was to Pinky. So Pinky, yay! So Andrus, you get back half your wager. So five. So five. Am I allowed to pet Kiki, or someone's gonna uh, stop me from it? Probably that like you can ask and like pet her on the head. <laughs> Definitely. You did your best, Pinky. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Who's a good lizard? Who's the bestest? Who yes, who's the bestest? Don't worry, hey. One day you'll destroy both of them, and they will learn to respect you. <laughs> great power. <laughs> we understand each other. Good boy. <laughs> it's like looking like. <laughs> <laughs> So were you playing D and D, Phoenix Slayer? By the way, what was uh, what was your vibe tonight? So, with uh, all that and all those gambling, <laughs> you're heading back to the Irene Mongoose. Yeah, we spent a lot of money. Okay. Drank a lot. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, excuse me, Grand Winner. Oh, it was nice, I'll admit. But it was all Kiki's doing, so it's fine. Well, I'm sure Kiki won thanks to your encouragement. Oh, yeah, I'll go with that. See, that, that, that I can go with. Well, that lightened my pockets. Eh, oh well, it was fun times. I mean, Evo's gonna have more jobs for us, so... Eh, yeah, easy come, easy go. Or in this case, easy go. Easy come, I'm sure. Hmm. Oh, oh, I can share you my prize with you, if you want, guys. No, 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 no. No, 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 keep, keep your winnings. You want fair and square? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's weird a bit. Ah, oh, it's fine. I mean, we made the decision to spend our money, so... Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's just money. So heading back to the Arid Mongoose, Timber and Squish. Is there anything since you've stayed in that you wanted to do? Unless Squish wants to socialize, uh, Timber would just reflect on his day. Yeah, Squish is kind of lost in thought most of the time. Just would have a fire going and just staring into it, thinking of stuff. All right. That's all. So with all this excitement of uh, lizard racing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You all go back to the Arid Mongoose and find a place to stay. Quiet in your bed. 
and just relax for, you know, you've been not on the run, but uh, pretty hasty in pretty much everything you've done recently. So taking this, well, you, you took the bath and all. And uh, you seem to see that there's some bigger things. More than just vision with the necklace. Yes, it is a vestige of divergence. But even in those visions, you've seen things, tangible things, in your own world where it's not the prison of that elixir called the Pothia. The morning after comes and it's when you're all eating together. If there's things you want to do during the night, you'll tell me after ah, after the game. But um, the sending stone makes a noise. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it is mid morning, so around nine. He will talking. You are invited back to the Temple of Manthor with an official offer to join the Cobalt Soul. Jamil will receive you. can answer back 25 words if you'd like. Did someone want to answer? Anybody can answer. Hmm. What, what What? did you hear? Did we all hear that? Or Yes, you were all oh, eating at the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. no, it was not just Andrus. So what I said is uh, everybody okay. is eating up. In that case, my comment is, whoa, they're persistent. Well, we might as well Go talk with them. Did you mean join, come and see them, or join the Cobalt Soul? They said the Cobalt Soul. I'm pretty sure he means the Cobalt Soul. <clears throat> All right, well, I'll tell him we can stop by. We don't need to accept. Bricks is going to walk over and grab the stone. Oh, OK. We will be there shortly. We will consider your offer with great and ponderous thought. Thank you. See you soon. You could have told them good morning. Ah, that was already covered. And on this, we'll hence the night's stream. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we're getting a job offer. We're, we're getting a yes. career offer. This is beyond That's a job. That's true. <laughs> and you'll be also getting your level eight. What? Wish that? Oh, Pog. This yes. is a big yeah. one. Whoop, whoop. Feet. Or oh, stats. Yeah. Yes. Yes, indeed. Good. <laughs> 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 He's like, ha 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 ha, go fight, they go fight. <laughs> pondering over what I will do. <laughs> <laughs> Adding more charisma. <laughs> mm. 
baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm Not like, maxed mm, out yet. do I want do I want that twenty strength? Mm. Mm, that's sweet, sweet damage. That's a lot of pipes. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've been eating my proteins, been getting that's my gains, true. so yeah. All right. So, uh, I'll cut it short tonight. I'm already pretty tired. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Who will be sharing the love with? Uh, hey. After While Fred the raid checks, guys, isn't gambling role-playing fun? It's Who the will best. be sharing the love? <laughs> That's right, wait. I just toss out all my money. Yeah. I mean, at this point, yes, like we, we've done it with the oddities a while back. It was It was great. We yeah, were, yeah, exactly. That's why it had yeah. to happen. It's like, just gotta. We weren't offered drugs this time, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And I also wasn't there to be the voice of reason. Yeah, it's true that Nagheim is the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also was the only one that didn't gamble because I was like, sad, depressed hours, Being and they were emo. the ones who were yeah. like, let's go rob a guy. <laughs> I mean, sounds pretty similar to what we've been doing here, to be honest. <laughs> True. True. Yeah. And even the voice of reason gambled. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not 75 needed. gold going boop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or 100 in Brick's case. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Tis what it is. I mean, she can yeah. have some fun too sometimes. Well, let's it's go see Aspen. He is uh, gaming right now. Digimon Story, Cyber Sleep, Ooh. Hacker's Memory. Ooh, I really need to finish that game. And uh, Aspen's coming uh, often to our stream, so uh, let's give us some love in the chat and spam uh, mm -hmm. Shirai's emote. Oh, see. yeah. Yeah. And uh, let's uh, raid. And uh, there won't be any game Thursday because uh, I have to go to see Disney on Ice. There. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Frozen and Encanto. I'm really happy. <laughs> so, with uh, with all this, we'll start the raid and uh, see you next week for the Maverick Legacy, the end of our board game. <laughs> and the retrieval, retrieval of a, a prisoner or maybe dead body. We don't know. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> emotional <laughs> damage. <laughs> well, the, go the Goliath are wrecking the undead in south. Just saying. <laughs> but they're also wrecked and they're about to be healed, though, because... Uh, because they have to. Because <laughs> They might have some casualties because Fine. last game there was a... The beginning of the game yeah. was kind of an Avenger. All, all the friends of the Mavericks popping up. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I, I missed that one live, but I'm catching up on the VOD. So, so yes, uh, let's start this. And remember, peeps, always may your fumbles become epic stories. Ciao! And uh, bye -bye. like the other is on every Sunday at 7, yes, says. come see us. Yes, do that. Do the half safe sex thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do the thing.